today we're going to be spreading lime and not baling hay. Don't let the sunshine fool you up until about 25, 30 minutes ago. The sky was all nasty black, looked about like that cloud bank over there because we had a line of pop-up thunderstorms come through this morning and drop a tenth of an inch of rain. I was not a happy camper. I mean, it's a double-edged sword. The row crops, they need rain. But I also had hay on the ground that was already raked. So now I gotta do something about that. Neato. Which I was thinking about it this morning. I was wondering what would happen. to recondition it obviously the hay's already been conditioned once so crimping it wouldn't do anything but i wonder if that crimper would spread it out enough and fluff it up enough that way i don't have to try to track down a tether i don't know i almost want to try it just so i know But I don't know. The windrows aren't super duper heavy. I think the crimper eat it. But anyhow, the first project the hand probably got about three ish loads of lime to spread to cover that field. So tractor fueled up we got a hook onto the spreader over there i gotta grease it and check the air and the tires and then go get the 1600 i was gonna i was initially just gonna drive the 1600 over this morning but it was raining this morning so instead i came over here and put a video together and figured i'd wait to see what the weather did now it's gonna be sunny and nice and probably get really muggy cut that hay hay friday granted it said saturday sunday monday partly to mostly sunny chances of scattered thunderstorms but it was partly to mostly sunny with and our next actual chance of rain where they actually had a percentage in the forecast was tuesday which is why i cut friday because i figured as late as i was cutting friday Worst case scenario, if I couldn't get it to bail today, I would bail it tomorrow after work. Tomorrow's Monday. It still missed the rain. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So anyhow, let me get uh, fueled up and hooked up to the spreader here and we'll see what we can accomplish that's somewhat productive today.
you see them geese? Hmm? Do you see them geese over there? Ever since I got this wheat cut, there's been a teeter. I don't know what that is, but you do not need to be teeter. Yeah, you do not need to be rolling in that. You already, we already had to have one bass this week from rolling in dead crap. Um, yeah, ever since I had this cut, there's been a flock of Canadian geese that have just made this their home, picking up all the, all the, uh, light finds that blew out the back of the combine, so. There were some just over the hill here. Let's see if she'll go get them. Peter, you gonna go, you gonna go, oh yeah, they're right there. You gonna go get them geese? Huh? Do you see them? Go get the geese. Oh, there she's got them. <laughs> Goofy dog. They're right there. You gotta go get them. All right, we gotta go grab the 1600. Hello, Mr. Toad. Anyhow, looks like we're at about a tenth and a half ish. I don't think it's quite two tenths, but enough to completely screw over the hay. If I'd have known it was gonna do that yesterday, I wouldn't have raked it because it's a lot easier to get it to dry flat than it is in a windrow. But I'm gonna grab some lunch here real quick and then we'll grab the tractor. <laughs> I think I got a decent load on it. I don't want to get super duper carried away because the frame on this old girl's getting 
kind of eh. oh that's that's good enough for a load luckily i think the lime is it should be fairly dry hell yeah that's definitely not gonna have to worry about it sticking in the spreader like we did spreading last fall when i was had frozen chunks that just wanted to hang up so let's go see what we can do here okay i got my gate setting already i did that when i was taking care of the spreader Normally when I spread a field I would do the outside round and work the center but since this is going to take multiple loads to do to make it easier to come back and find where I stop I'm just going to work them back and forth so that's how it's going to go.
think there should be enough in there to do what I gotta do over there. Yeah, that should be plenty. And I consolidated the pile a little bit. Well, there's really only there's really only one scoop left out of this trailer load, so now it's just that one. So we can have this around for next time we need some lime. It's fairly out of the way here. I need to get once I get soil test done. Hopefully at this hopefully this fall. Actually what I should do is at least get the since there's nothing growing on it right now, at least get the wheat ground sampled. That way those three fields are out of the way. And uh might need to end up spreading more lime yet this fall, so. But we'll go finish this job up. Any closer if I tried that those that little two little streaks right there that's all that's left in the box now that stuff gets hard so I guess I'm gonna go bounce this thing around the field real quick and clean the rest of that out and I got I'll get everything put away in its respective areas and we'll see what we got to do about that hay field. Um, before I take this thing back, since the guy won't take any money for the use of it, I got three new drive belts for it. Because one of these was uh, starting to, I think it was the back one, was starting to split at the splice where they spliced the loop together. And then obviously you got one missing. So I got him three new belts to that I'll put on it before I take it back and he said he didn't want it washed he just wanted it just leave it the way it is so I'll brush what brush what lime that's on it off and call her square so anyway we'll uh catch you guys here in a little bit okay let's see how bad it is visually it looks drier already and it's still pretty I mean Compared to what it was this morning right after it got rained on, we're looking pretty good. Honestly, what I would really like to have, because I'm just not a fan of tedders. At least, I mean, they're great for grass, but you start throwing in any sort, any sort of broadleaf forage, I think they're terrible. All they do is beat the dog shit out of it. Unless you're following right behind the mower, but in that case, why would you bother tedding right behind the mower when you can just 
lay your or lay your swath boards out as far as they'll go and just spread the hay the full width of the mower and you achieve the same thing as the tether but anyway that's just my opinion you don't have to agree with it what i would rather have except they're at least in this area they're super salty when you find them is one of those new holland windrow inverters where you literally just pick the windrow up and it flips it over on its bottom and away you go now that being said these things are a lot drier on top than what I figured they'd be. So I think I can get away with just bumping the windrows back over with the rake and fluffing them back up. Because now they're wet on the, they're, they're pretty dry on the top and most of the way into the middle. And they're just wet on the bottom. So if we can flip them over onto dry ground, might get lucky and it might still make tomorrow. So, I think that's what we'll do. My other thing that I was, I was thinking about, because I wasn't expecting it to have dried out this decent, I mean, this fast, was the other thing I was thinking about doing, was getting the crimper dug back out, taking the deflector off the back of it so there was nothing to direct the hay back down so that it would throw it up in the air and kind of fan it and fluff it before it landed back on the ground. But I don't think we will have to do that. It's a good thing these windrows weren't overly heavy. That being said, at least for this area, as far as second cutting on a, on a mix hay, it's really not that bad. We're not going to get the 50-something odd bales I got off of first cutting, but I bet there's still 35-40 out here. Which, like I say, for this area is not bad. I'm sure for other areas it's terrible, but... And considering the fact that half of this field is shaded, either that half's going to be shaded in the morning and this half's going to be shaded in the afternoon. And it's just kind of meh ground to begin with. So, anyway, I guess we'll go get the doggone rake dug back out. Come on, Teeter.
got the wet side turned up, so that's good. I am honestly half tempted to just leave the tractor and rake here tonight. Just in, just in case I end up having to bump these damn windrows again. If I leave it here, I won't need it. If I take it home, I'll need it. So I might as well just leave it here. I can park it back here where nobody can see it and It'll be fine. So I think that's what I might do. Trust the weather. Of course, this doesn't mean much because it wasn't supposed to rain this morning and it ended up raining this morning. So tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, a stray shower and thunderstorms possible. Tuesday, sunshine and some clouds. Is three shower and thunderstorm are possible? How the hell do you plan around this? Give me an answer. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna leave the tractor right here tonight. If I don't need it, great. If I need it, it'll save me from having to drive over here again. So that's what we're gonna do. Well, I just got back here and got parked and shut the tractor off. I heard something thumping. And you can't see it. There's a Chinook flying back here. Damn it, he went the wrong way. Well, right there. Yep. You might be able to see him once he gets... I'm in a bad spot to see it. Come on, get up. He might be getting at the wrong angle. I don't think he's going to come out over here. Nope, I just saw him. He's going to keep dipping below the trees over there. Damn it. That was cool. I wish he'd have been about another 100 yards this way. You could have seen him. But tractor's parked back here out of the way. I'm going to call somebody to come get me. And hopefully it'll dry out tomorrow. We shall see. And they rolled over fairly nice, so I'm getting really tired of having to keep bumping windrows. But as long as tomorrow's hot and windy, I think we'll be all right, so. I guess we're in for another rake twice, bail, bail once, or possibly rake three times this time. It was a lot more rain. So anyway, I guess that's it for this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one.